Welcome to module 4. This year we have a change. We don't have the story writing. Instead of that we have the analytical writing. What is analytical writing? Any idea? It is a long composition for 10 marks and the word limit is 150 to 200 words. Analyzing and writing what you have analyzed makes analytic writing. Analysis is a detailed examination of the elements or the structure of something. Suppose a graph is given, a picture is given, you have to analyze that and write about it. Analytical paragraph lays out and explains the evidence that supports your thesis. Now what is a thesis? It is a statement that declares what you believe and what you intend to improve. You might have heard people who get doctorate they might have submitted a thesis. First, you should give the introduction. That is, you have to introduce the thesis. What it is all about. That introduction must be given in the first paragraph which comes under the heading introduction. Now, next comes the paragraph, the body of the analytical writing. That is, whatever you have analyzed that must be elaborated. Then we have the conclusion. The conclude, concluding whatever you have analyzed. Let us remember some points. Read the question carefully. Summarize the information by selecting the main features. You can also make relevant comparisons if needed. Don't add your own information or data. So the question it must be read very very carefully and whatever information you have gained from watching the line graph or diagram or anything that must be analyzed very carefully and the important points should be considered more than unimportant points. No other information other than what is given in the diagram or the line graph or any other graph should be added to the analytical writing. Whatever is given only should be written in the paragraph. Write 150 words or more. Aim for about 160 to 190 words. Don't write under the word count. That means don't be adding after you write each and every line. That is what it means. Okay. Don't use first person pronoun in this paragraph. That means you should not use I. I. I should not be used. The line graph below shows changes in amount and type of fast food consumed by Australian teenagers from 1870, sorry, 1975 to 2000. You have to summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons were uh, relevant. Okay, so what is the word limit? 150 to 200 words. So you must give a suitable introduction. What should be the introduction about? See, the conception of fast food by Australian teenagers. Just have a look at how the introduction is done. You need to begin with two or three sentences that state what the line graph shows. Here is an example for the above line graph. What is given the, the line graph compares the fast food consumption of teenagers in Australia between 1975 and 2000. So that is what is written in the introduction. So that is enough. In the body or the first paragraph, you have to elaborate what is told in the introduction. Elaboration of the content is more important. So it should not begin with the first pronoun and whatever you have told in the introduction must be made a little explained. In paragraph 1, it is the content that must be the explanation of the introduction. In paragraph 2 also, you can elaborate whatever is told in the paragraph 1 and also it must lead to the conclusion. Okay, the last paragraph, it should always lead to the conclusion. So, what would be the conclusion? What has been analyzed here? The comparison between the people who eat uh, such foods and other people who eat the uh, roasted or fried items. Now, the conclusion, you should uh, let us conclude whatever your findings have been from this diagram. So, in analytical writing, the answer, what all things should be there, introduction, body, 
and conclusion. Now the focus points you have to take time to read through the model and then understand what it is all about. The vocabulary for line graph is also given and also you have the vocabulary for, uh, for other things also. Hope it is clear. Thank you so much children.